Hi everybody, we are at leadco.com and now we are going to solve another linked list task. So if you remember one of my previous videos, we were already dealing with linked lists and this is another task for them. I'll give you a few seconds to read through the description. Okay, so look at the um, uh, description. We don't have any examples here. We only have few hints, like we don't need to modify the list. That's important. There may be examples uh, without uh, cycles. In that case, we have to find them out and return now because there is no beginning of the uh, uh, cycle anywhere if there is no cycle. And then in the case, if there is a cycle, we just return the node where the cycle begins. That's that's it. Um, there is a follow-up. Can you solve without using extra space? It kind of hints that the trivial solution would be to use some extra space and then as optimization we would uh, write a uh, uh, spaceless solution if you can say that. So what's the linked list? Let's uh, quickly recap. It's the structure where you have uh, nodes connected to each other uh, and those nodes, they uh, represent, let's say, an object with uh, two attributes. The first one is the value and another one is a pointer called next. Uh, so next points to another node or it points to null. Uh, if it points to null, then that's it. We have the uh, end of the list here. If it points to another node, like this node with value 2 points to node with value 3, and in this case, uh, we have a chain, like two points to three. Um, it's a small um, sub-link list if you, if you want. Uh, and then the full link list would be like one points to two, two points to three, three to four, four to none. Um, then uh, what, yeah, now I, I wrote null here, but in Python it would be none, but it's the same stuff. So. In, in trivial example, um, the linked list ends with none, but in our case, uh, we are working with cycles here. It means that there would be somewhere um, a cycle, for example, the four would uh, uh, point to two instead of to none, and let's try to rewrite that. Um, let's remove this guy, and then uh, let's add uh, the the link from 4 back to 2. And in this case, we don't have none anywhere. And if we just try to uh, iterate through this list, we will get uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4. So that's a cycle. And cycle would be 2, 3, 4. So something which repeats over and over again. And we don't have none. It means that we will never be able to iterate through this list until the end, because there is no end. And uh, what else? Uh, well, uh, if we cannot iterate until the end, then how do we uh, iterate? How do we stop? Well, that's, that's a good question. First, we could just store the trivial solution. It would be like we store all the nodes, uh, like this one, this one, and so on, in some set or hash map or whatever. And then whenever we are entering the uh, next iteration, we just check if the current node is already present in this uh, set. And if it is there, then it means, yes, we found the loop. Okay, so let's, let's just uh, uh, code that solution super quickly. Uh, so that we have some trivial approach, and then we will try to solve it without a set. Okay, so what do we need here? Uh, we already have um, some uh, solution with a method uh, detect cycle, and it passes head to us. So head would be the pointer to the first node in the list. In this case, it would be this one, uh, and also one here. And uh, we would have to return the list node as well. Okay. So now, using this and um, head, we will implement the trivial solution. Remember, we wanted to have a set. Let's call it scene. So let's just uh, initialize it with an empty set at the beginning. And then we are uh, going through elements. Um, while we have a head. We are progressing head uh, to be a head next. 
and then uh, we have to check if we've already seen the head. So if head in scene, then we return head. Because if we've seen head already, uh, and that's obviously the first time then we enter here, uh, because otherwise we would return earlier. there. Uh, so if, we, uh, if we've seen this head already, then it means that this is the beginning of the cycle. So we just return it. And then we would have to do something with the scene because you can see we already uh, mentioned it here, but we didn't do anything else. We just um, have it as empty set. So we have to fill it with some values. So if we haven't seen head, we have to add head into a scene set. Okay, so now let's um, just return a magic value which is null. Well, in this case, it's uh, none in Python. And that would be in the case when we don't have any cycle in the uh, link list. Let's quickly debug that. And as you remember, we are debugging on the whiteboard. We don't have access to the debugger in ID. So we would have to uh, write uh, all the values of um, the variables which we use. And those are uh, head and uh, scene, nothing else. Uh, and at the beginning, head is, um, if we are dealing with this guy, it would be uh, pointing to uh, this node, or let's uh, write it like this. A scene would be empty set at the beginning. Uh, now, uh, we um, enter this uh, while loop, and uh, we are checking if head is not none. Yes, it's not none, it's pointing to this guy. So um, we don't have a head in scene because the scene is empty. So we add a head into this scene. So it becomes uh, one. And then uh, we move head. So head now becomes two. Head becomes head next. And we are entering this uh, second iteration of the same uh, loop. And now we are checking if two is there. Uh, it's not. And then we are adding to here. So it becomes this. And then this uh, we move to three. And then the third iteration, we are also checking. No, uh, three is not there. We are adding it there. And then it moves to four. Okay, now fourth iteration, and uh, we uh, are uh, checking if head is there. No, it's not there. We are adding it there. And then uh, we are moving head to uh, none. And now head is not none uh, is uh, false, and we are exiting this while loop, and we go here, so we return none. Okay, perfect. That's what we wanted, because uh, in this case, we don't have any cycle. Uh, now let's take this guy and uh, let's debug it and see if it works. So at the beginning we point to one and then this scene set is empty and what we are doing is almost the same so uh, we put one into scene and then we progress head to two then uh, we put uh, two into scene and then uh, head becomes three then uh, we put a three here and head progresses to four and then fun thing starts so we uh, we are here head is four uh, we don't have it there so we add it in the scene set uh, then four points to two so we have two here now and uh, now at this point this condition succeeds so head is in scene we have two inside scene set so we just return head which is two so that's exactly what we wanted we returned the beginning of the loop Okay, seems to be valid solution. Let's submit it. Yay, accepted. Perfect. Let's look at details. Okay, actually we are uh, somewhere at the beginning. There are uh, even solutions uh, 
past one second that's that's really nice but we've got our uh, 86 milliseconds and we are um, we are beating 60 percent of submissions that's nice okay let's go back let's edit this code and uh, try to find out a bit better solution because remember the follow-up would be can you solve it without using extra space and here extra space was here right because scene would hold all elements of the list in the worst case in case of uh, non-worst case meaning that we have a loop we actually would also store all elements inside the list yes so it's pretty much the same uh, it means that we have um, order and where n is the length of the uh, uh, linked list would have uh, order of n um, extra space and that's bad so uh, those guys ask us to remove this extra space tune for the next videos and we will uh, write a bit better solution for that task see you guys